Hey everybody, um, it's uh, it's day 61 of 100 days of code today. Uh, I didn't do a video for almost three weeks, maybe even longer. And yeah, I wanted to get started again with videos because I actually did a lot of work, but I didn't make any videos. So, but today uh, I want to start with a new concept. Um, instead of instead of making really long live coding session videos, I want to keep the videos nice valuable and short and that way i hope that more people find it useful uh, instead of uh, that is just for me as a social proof so um today um i'm gonna work on my navigation of my app so let me first give you a really quick walkthrough of the app that i have um it's a dutch it's a dutch app it's uh, it's a mafia game and it's all in Dutch, so uh, what it all means doesn't really matter. But this video is going to be about the navigation. So as you can see in this Mafia game, we have a header here. And then we have the navigation. This is the navigation. Um, so we have home, the map, chats and, and users. And as you can see... You can swipe between the tabs, which is really nice. It works really well. And then every tab has some sub tabs. And yeah, it works really cool. Uh, it works really well. It works on Android and iOS. And as you can see, yeah, it just works, but I'm not really happy with it. So I'm gonna change it. And what I see a lot online is that people are struggling with fitting uh, navigation inside navigation, uh, inside another stack navigator, inside a tab navigator, and stuff like that. And there are different solutions always. Um, yeah, sometimes it can be, be really problematic if you fit multiple navigators inside each other because um, Especially on Android, it's not made for it. Uh, just ignore that error on the simulator. So yeah, uh, it's not made for it. <clears throat> Especially on Android to have to fit uh, multiple native components. Because Android doesn't support um, m multiple navigations inside of each other. Uh, especially multiple um, animated and, and loaded navigations. That will give problems. So I already fixed a few of those problems because I got it to work uh, with my navigation. Uh, as you can see here, I have a tab navigator in every tab, or in this tab, I have another tab navigator. Uh, in this tab, I have also another tab navigator. And uh, this tab, I have a stack navigator because if you click on this, another screen within the same tab. So this is the stack. And this is the tab. So, and in this tab, I have a stack navigator, in which, uh, in which there is uh, in the first stack a, another tab navigator. So as you can see, if I click on the member, the tab, the second tab goes away. Um, <clears throat> that's what that's what I mean. So it's first. So the structure has you can see. You can you should see it like this. It's it's a tab navigator in the in the like the root is a tab navigator. Then on this tab there is a stack navigator. And the first stack is uh, the friend page and the member page. And then the second stack where you can click on will go to not to a tab navigator but to a normal screen which is the profile screen so in that way um, I've ordered it this time um, yeah and I will show you how that works so this is my index file of my whole app and please don't be don't be overwhelmed too much um, I know it's it might look really overwhelming because this is 757 lines of code and I put literally everything in the index file I, I don't like okay so I also have a um, a store file and an import file in which from which I import some some functions some secrets some some containers and 
And from the store, I, I import the, the, the Apollo client to get the data from and the store for Redux and the Redux persister. But that's it. Uh, for the rest, I, I just have import all the screens here and I do a lot of stuff here with components already. So yeah, it's kind of uh, unorganized, but I like it this way because I, I don't need to switch between files all the time. You can just scroll, that's how I, I prefer it. So that's why I have it all in one file. But anyway, uh, let me just show you uh, what I just explained with the code. So I have a tab navigator, a stack navigator, and a tab navigator. In this, in this, uh, in this one, the 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 friend screen. Let's let's say the member screen. It's called leaderboard screen. So let's see. Let's go here. Search for leaderboard. Leaderboard screen. It's over there. And as you can see, that's in the members tab, which is tab navigator. And as you can see, it got friends and members. Friends. And members that is a tab navigator that this one is so if we look so that's how we declared it we got in the tab navigator the routes over here and in the second um, the second argument uh, there are some some options and what I wanted to also to say is like a lot of people get problems with with, with uh, fitting multiple uh, navigators inside of each other on Android specifically mostly because yeah because the most important thing is that it doesn't allow you to have swipe enabled and animations enabled so it's really important that if you want multiple navigations on Android that you should put them on false swipe enabled false and animation enabled on false Try that and then it might work. Um, that's that's what helped me a lot. Uh, it took me some time to figure that out. But yeah, it, it, it works now and it works pretty good. Um, yeah. Anyway, so we got the leaderboard screen here in the tab navigator. So let's see, where is the members tab declared or used? Because it's declared there. So as, as I already told you, it's declared or it's used in the members in the user stack. I call it the user stack because it's it's a stack inside of the um, inside of one of the tabs of the main the root uh, tab navigator. Uh, so the member tab is the navigator of the user stack, um, and then we have the map because if we click here, we go to a map. Um, then we have the stats that's not implemented yet and we have the profile so we can go to profiles as you can see it's all neatly organized inside of of this tab so it's pretty cool because if you click on this user and you go here and you go back you're still in the user so it's it's uh, the stack is inside of the tab um, so yeah it's it's pretty nice and that's how it works. So the user stack, where is it declared? It's you or where is it used? It's used here. And this is the root config map constant. And where is the root config map constant used? It's called nav, and that's the tab navigator. So it got the root config map and the draw config. Um, as we have multiple. Um, navigators i don't think it's really a good name for the for the for the variables so i'll just put it inside of the navigator because yeah it's it's not really if you see it you don't really know it's the main it's the root so i will just refactor this really quickly um, keep it simple and nothing changes. Um, and yeah, so this is the nav. <clears throat> and yeah. And as you can see, I give it some screen props because that's also a really, really useful option, I think, for React Navigation. Because with screen props, 
you can you can pass some 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 properties to to the navigation and it will pass on these properties to every screen it renders and this is the, like the best way to do it i think um, because this way i can i can basically load all my my data in the in the root uh, container and then pass it to all screens that need it or just to all screens because otherwise you would have to to load the data sev separately in every screen or yeah so i think this is a good solution so that's why i have screen props in the nav in the root nav and that way it it passes it on to every screen it renders and sometimes of course i have another another screen or i mean i have a stack or like another tab uh, inside of this and i will show you an example in which i even passed on the screen props to another navigator which is kind of complex but it, it works really well because it's the i think it's the most efficient way um, <clears throat> so yeah, this is the the net. I will also rename this because first I only had one navigator, and I think it's it's better to call it root nav. Let's see if it still works. It should work. Yeah, it still works. So that's the root nav. And yeah, it just works. Um, this video is already 12 minutes now. I, I was gonna, I was planning on actually keeping the video below 10 minutes. So I'm gonna quit this now, but maybe I will make a, a second video about this if there are any questions. And yeah. So I was actually thinking about refactoring this whole thing and I'm really curious about what you guys think. So this, this I really like my, the, the thing I have now already, but um, I also feel that it's a little bit too complex maybe because I have so many navigators inside of each other and on Android sometimes it was a little bit slow just because one of the pages was slow. And then the, the whole navigator became slow and I didn't really understand why. Um, so yeah, uh, I was thinking about refactoring it and making, um, making it uh, possible to navigate also from, from some, uh, some of these, um, these chats, for example, towards a profile. Because now it's not possible to, to go to Hanky, to the profile because I didn't make a navigation um, route to it, to a link to it. What I could do is separately make another stack navigator inside of, of this tab and, and in the, inside of this stack that goes to a profile. That's fine, I could do that. Um, but then we have the, the profile page inside of this stack, the stack in this tab, and we have the profile page inside of the stack in this tab. Um, so if we have that, we could have like a profile opened in this tab and a profile opened in this tab. And like previously, this would already give problems. So I feel like it's a better solution to put the whole stack, like instead of a main tab navigator, I could also create a main stack navigator um, that will, yeah, literally, it will basically have the profile as one of the stacks in the root. So instead of, um, yeah, doing it like this, I could also make uh, a root stack navigator. So if you click on a profile, the whole tab navigator goes away. You don't see it anymore because you're in a different stack. I hope I, I phrased that correctly. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm curious what you guys think. What's, what's better to, what's the best way to implement it? I think it's already a good way to implement it like this, how I have it now. But I think, um, yeah, 
it, it could also be a good way and it could make it also quicker and, and less complex, less navigators inside of each other. If I just make a general root um, stack navigator that moves away from the main, the whole thing, the whole tab, and goes to profiles from wherever, because then I can also just click here and, and go to my profile. And then this would all go away. The whole the whole uh, main tab go goes away. And then I can can click on on, on this button here, uh, members to go back. And well, of course the header should never go away. I think that should always be there because that's really useful information. But yeah, it doesn't really m make sense. I think that you can, if you're in a profile, you it can be useful to be able to click on the map instantly. But it's also nice if you if you just know you're here and you first have to get back and then you can go to the map. So I think yeah I don't know it really depends of course on maybe on the app. And, but until now I don't really have too many problems with all the stacks and the complexity of the navigators inside of each other. But I'm curious if if any f anyone thinks there's maybe a better solution. And if the, the the stack navigator as a root navigator would be better, let me know if you if you think that's the case. And if you have any questions about my navigation, just let me know. Um, if I if I yeah, I will just uh, maybe probably make another video about some questions I get. All right, later.